Hello and welcome back to the Biking Train Guy YouTube channel. My name is George, aka the Biking Train Guy. And today I'm showing you my experience as a travel ticket inspector at the Northampton and Lamport Railways Gala on the 21st and 22nd of September 2024. It was a mixed traction gala with 3718, the railways, sorry, one of the railway's resident steam engines. The other steam engine is 3193 Hunslet Austerity Norfolk Regiment, which was not running. The other two locos that were running were 31601 and 31289, both owned by the legend Dave Chambers. I hope you enjoy this video, and if you like it, please like, subscribe, and comment your favorite section of video, any ways I can improve, and anything like that that you want to put across to me. Maybe a video idea. Anyway, enjoy. So, on the 21st, aka the Saturday, we started off with a top and tail class 31s. Now, this was very, very exciting because it was the first time that two of Dave's locomotives have driven together on the same railway. So you could say it was a special occasion. On our second run down to Bowton, we had the joys of seeing 31601 run around the coaching stock.
It was less like it's warm though. And here she is now being brought on by Kieran for guarding training for the day. And then of course 31289 came down the line with the Iron Ore Tipler train. Once we got back to the station, 3718, aka number four, owned by Adam Giles, the railway's current chairman, was ready to be called on by the guard who was training Kieran, also known as Gavin. And his channel name is Laser Fruity. Don't ask me why he named that, I'm still confused by that as well. But anyway, I digress. Here you can see Tom the fireman coupling up the screw link to the poaching stock. Depends. Right, if we can get a lovely food review from Gavin, maybe. <laughs> I might actually ask him. Can you get like a video and a photo? You're good with you. What? Can you well, this moment was certainly interesting. 3718's fireman had decided to make water come out of a chimney or funnel. I'm not even sure how you do this because steam locos are not my expertise, um, but it showered the platform in water and coal dust, so that was very fun. Here we are heading north past 31601, sat in the Pittsford and Brampton passing.
The next time we were up at the Pittsford and Brampton loop, 31601 seems to have changed colour. Hang on, no, that's 289. At this moment in time, I was being photobombed or video bombed by David from his channel Purple Vision or Purple's Railway Adventures. It's an amazing channel, you should check it out. Here it was Kieran's turn to call 31289 onto the coaching stock at Pittsford and Brampton. Well, 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 who is it? Oh, it's me. Oh, really? Again? As soon as the Mark II coaching stock had got into Boughton Station, 31601 was cleared to leave and take with it the Iron Ore Tipler train. And then, of course, 601 and 289 had a coming together. Of course, this was purposeful. They were going to haul the next train as a double header. Yep, done. It is horrendously miserable now. Really, really rainy. Although we have double 31s.
too wet. Well, at the end of the day, I decided to get this shot from the motorman's seat. What the motorman does is when the train's heading south, where the loco crews either side can't really see in front of the train, the motorman controls the brakes and the horn should anything go wrong. However, I just used this seat while we were heading north to record this lovely clip of the Northampton and Lamport Railway in some less than ideal weather. And then, once the coaches were in their position for the night, it was time for Kieran, the trainee guard, who'd done very well, to screw down the handbrake, which, as you can tell, being an old machine, it is hard. And for the rest of the video, which is all of day two, I'm going to leave you with some yeah. clips without yeah. me waffling on it. So I hope you enjoy that. Meet me on day two in the morning of the gala. It was thunderstormy last night and going into this morning we had quite a few floods in and around Pittsford and Brampton station. Although we are still running which is good. Um, yeah let's get on with the day. The weather's clearing up but it's still going to be drizzly all day so we won't get much dry running, but yeah, should be an all right day, if not as busy.
at this point i'd like to thank you for all for watching like subscribe comment join the discord we're always looking for new members drop a comment in the comments section below where else would you leave one and of course thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one